Hey everybody, Art Burns here. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm coming at you from the uh, backyard today and it's just absolutely a gorgeous day, not a cloud in the sky. I hope it's beautiful where you are too. And I'm just, and if it's not, don't worry, beautiful days are coming no matter where you are because spring is on the way and you can just feel it in the air. And um, so I'm just grateful for this opportunity to sit here for a few moments and, and record this video in such gorgeous feeling weather. Um, but an, an opportunity is what I wanted to talk to you today about. Now, you know, in this time that we're living, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very strange for all of us, right? You might be, you know, working from home, in which case maybe your employers and your colleagues are not respecting the boundaries as much as you wish they would. Uh, perhaps you're, you're at home because you've been, you know, you're not employed right now. And that's, and that's a very, very scary situation. Um, and, and perhaps you have to go to work and, and every day within, you know, among the, the, the virus out there and the pandemic that's going on and that is also scary and so so fear is on a lot of people's minds and, and a lot of people's emotions right now and so so today I wanted to talk about the opportunity that this this you know situation presents right um, and I don't mean the opportunity to write a book or, or learn a mus musical instrument or, or you know develop your side hustle there's a lot of memes going around social media today these days about that um, and if that is what moves you and, and you're inspired to do that then by all means go for it but but don't feel like you have to take this opportunity to be productive that's not what I'm talking talking about here. I'm talking about the opportunity of emotions, right? Um, in fact, I'm reminded that the uh, Chinese character for crisis is made up of two different characters. It's the first one is danger and the second one is opportunity, right? And, and because it's in these irregular times that we, we see an, an, an opportunity, a, a chance to, to, to make a change, right? To, to, you know, because everything is so abnormal, there is no norm anymore. So there's no uh, expected or routine way to deal with things so so you know you can take this time as an opportunity and, and I'm suggesting today that you take it as an as an emotional opportunity and what I mean by that is you know when you feel the sense of fear that, that we're all feeling on some level right and when you start to feel that creep in, in, into your your mind and your heart you know take a few moments right just just you know push yourself away from the desk for a minute or, or turn off the TV for a minute or, or get up and come outside for a minute and um, and just just consider for a few moments that that all the different people who are feeling the same fear as you right because no matter which of those three scenarios that I just laid out right either you're working from home you're unemployed at home or you're having to go to work if any one of those three there are millions of other people who are experiencing the same thing as you so for a few moments just consider them right and consider the fact that they are feeling the same fear that you're feeling in your body right on a visceral level and then take a moment after that you have to sense their fear or after you contemplate their fear that they're feeling in their body just like you're feeling in yours then take a moment and contemplate compassion for them right just just, just for a moment, just close your eyes and picture people all around the world, in all the cities, and all the states in America, all the countries all over the world. Just picture all the people who are feeling the same way that you are. And believe me, they are, right? And just wish for them to be free from this fear. That's all. Just, just wish for it. Just, just, you know, just get into your heart for a moment and wish that they are, you know, that they be free from the fear that you're feeling, right? Because they're feeling it too, like I said. And doing this is going to do some really important things, right? It's going to bring your body from the stress response that is, that comes from that fear. And it's going to bring it into what we call the, the, you know, the, the homeostasis, right? Or the rest and digest, or, you know, from the sympathetic nervous system that is the, the, you know, harbinger of fear or, or the, the, the holder of your fear and, and, you know, and shift it into the the parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system, which is where your body calms down, okay? And that's how you're going to do this, okay? Um, now, it takes intention, and it takes a few minutes. So, so don't, you know, it's not just like thinking one or two thoughts. It's really taking a few minutes and, and really, you know, again, taking this opportunity, right? And as you do this, you're, you're going to you're going to create a system in your body. So when you're in the stress response, right, when you're in that sympathetic nervous system, right, none of your systems are working normally, right? Everything, every ounce of energy your body has is devoted to survival, 
right? But in reality, you know, yes, bills are not getting paid and, you know, maybe you, you're worried about how you're going to buy food and stuff like this. So there's definitely cause for concern, but there's nothing that's going to kill you this minute over that, right? And, and so, so that fear is misplaced and that, that stress response is misplaced. So instead, by, by considering this compassion for others, what you're going to do is you're going to bring yourself into the parasympathetic nervous system. Again, it takes a little time. It takes some intention. And if you'd like some help with some practices, please just hit me up and I'll get you something, okay? Um, But the idea is that you can take this opportunity to really practice this. And the more you practice it, the more you're going to be able to get into that homeostasis of your body. Your, Your systems will run properly. You'll be in the growth state, the creative state. And in that state, you can figure out solutions to the problems, you know? And that's the thing. Like in the stress response, you're not going to come up with creative solutions because your body is not, you know, geared for that right now. Your body is in a a state of absolute survival. So anyway, (laughs) if you'd like some, uh, you know, practices to help you do this, uh, because it does require intention, it does require repetition, uh, please just hit me up and I'll I'll send you something. Very, very simple exercises you can do, okay? Um, And then uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a meditation on my uh, podcast and I'll post it here as well uh, so that uh, you can check it out. It's going to be a self-compassion meditation because all compassion really should start with ourselves. Thank you for listening, everyone. I know this is a little bit of a long video. I hope that's okay. And uh, I hope you're okay. I hope you're, you're staying safe. You're staying sane. And I hope you're washing your hands. And, uh, you know, trust that this is all going to work out okay. You know, one way or the other, something is going to happen. We just don't know what it is just yet. And so, so don't let the fear guide you. Try to let your compassion guide you. You're going to be much better off for it. All right, everybody. If you have questions or want help with this, give me a holler. I'll talk to you later. I'll be back tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.